right, you guys, here we are. Let's hope it goes smooth from here on out. Jay Delaval and Sloan Delaval here, live from the clubhouse at the UKT. We got our ukuleles. If you got your ukulele, stick it up in the air right now so we can see it. All right. We really can't see your ukulele, but hey, we're imagining that thousands of people have their ukuleles in the air. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, the Ukulele Kids Club is an amazing non-for-profit organization that raises money for music therapy, and we gift ukuleles to kids and children to hospitals. Um, the money that we raise goes to buying ukuleles for these kids, literally giving the gift of music to these kids. Um, and right now, I think we can all agree that more than ever, uh, kids uh, need music in their lives. Um, Music heals. So uh, today, what we're going to do is a little ukulele tutorial followed by a dance party. And I want to, I'm going to move, you know, as slow as I can, but also I'm going to keep things, um, keep things with a certain momentum. I don't know who's listening in and where you guys are at in your ukulele um, knowledge, but um, I want to touch on some very basic things. Feel free to grab a notebook out. Maybe you just don't want to write it down. Just be in the moment with me. That's fine. I'm going to cover some very basic things. My goal is to teach you um, some of these basics and get you playing at least five chords, five very easy chords. And then I will show you how you can take those chords and you can apply them to playing some songs that I know you love and I know you will love to know how to play. Because once you can play a couple of songs in the ukulele, you can whip these babies out at parties. You can whip them out with your family. You can play them wherever you want. And you could also sing and play songs that you can entertain. And that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to feel good about yourselves. Is ukulele hard to learn? I think it's the, the instrument with the easiest learning curve possible. Um, so, you know, you know, there is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you, uh, you know, kind of get the hang of it and it's not that hard, not nearly as hard as guitar, you can move pretty quickly. Um, all right, the first thing I want to cover with you guys, first of all, Sloan, how you doing? I'm good. This is my beautiful little daughter, Sloan. How long have you been really playing ukulele? Um, well, it hasn't been for like months or years like you, but a few days. A few days she's been playing. She's been probably playing, I've been probably having her whip out the ukulele since the whole thing started here a couple of weeks ago, giving her a ukulele class. And you're going to hear her play. She even wrote a little song, a little, uh, a little parody. Uh, she's here with me, not just to keep to, you know, because she makes me happy. But I want for the kids out there to see that here's Sloan. She's eight years old and nine. She's, she's nine years old and she's been. <laughs> I know, just checking. Um, she is uh, I want you to see that someone who's only been playing ukulele a short amount of time, what she's capable of doing. She is a testament to the fact that this ukulele is relatively easy to learn. And with the right attitude, you can get pretty far in a short amount of time. The first most important thing is tuning the ukulele, okay? There's only four strings on the ukulele. If you, maybe you have a colored string one like we do, or maybe you don't, doesn't matter. These are the ones with the learning strings on it. But the, the, the notes on a ukulele from, from uh, let's just say, uh, top to bottom, the, the, the string closest to you being the top string, let's just say G is the top string, C is the second string, E is the third string, and A is the fourth string. And they sound like G, C. Tell them again. So you'll memorize that G, C, E, A, you won't even need a ukulele to walk around saying to yourself, hey, what's a ukulele sound like when it's tuned? And you'll... When you have a ukulele, you need to hold it with the stick part on the left side, because if you hold the part with the stick where you played the chords on the right side, the, it would sound like A, E, C, G, right. and you want G, C, E, A. But believe that. it or not, some people actually do that because they're, they're lefty. If you're a lefty yeah. ukulele player, you might hold it like that. But most people are righties. But Sloan's absolutely right. So if you are, some of this might be reversed for you if you're a lefty player. But hopefully most of you are righties. So you're playing the right ukulele for you. Um, but regardless of where you're at, you'll be able to say G, C, E, A. Make sure your ukulele is tuned. Use your tuner to make sure that it sounds like this. G, C, E, A. All right. I'm hoping that you guys can all do that and that you understand this basic premise so that we, we can all be on the same page here. G, C, E, A. Okay, right? Sloan, you get your fans already. People are chiming in. It's all about you. G, 
G-C-E-A. Yeah, it is like a song. A beautifully tuned soprano ukulele. Okay? Now, the other thing that some of you probably might you know want to know and people question all the time, like, well, how do I play it? How do I use my hands? You know, it's a lot different than a guitar. You're not normally with a ukulele, you're not using a pick and you're not doing the same kind of strumming. All right, the strumming, there's two parts to, um, you know, to the strumming part, the, the part that your right planned hand is playing with regards to the ukulele. There's the strumming part, but there's also first what part of your hand to use to actually get the sound out of the ukulele. All right. Now, some people use different parts of their hand, depending upon how long you've been playing or what your style is. Okay? But most people, and I think the easiest way to teach you guys is just to use your thumb. You know, the ukulele responds to a very gentle style strum. So let's show them, Sloan. Let them see, let them see. Yeah, you could just take your thumb and you could just like, like, you know, graze your thumb across all the strings and let's just, you know, just hear all the strings. Now you're using that part of your thumb that's like the fleshy part of your thumb, like this part right here, okay? That's like the number one place you would use if you're using your thumb. So just like, you know, allow that part that you would press on with like, if you were gonna, you know, put your thumb on like to, you know, uh, do like a thumbprint on your phone or something like that. Um, you know, just allow that part to go, to hit every string. Now, the other thing you could do is, is reverse it and also use your nail, you know, not really hard, it shouldn't hurt, but maybe you wanna go down with the fleshy part of your thumb and then back up with the nail part of your thumb. Anything goes here. There really are no rules. We're playing when we're playing the ukulele. We're playing around. You know, we're making sound. We're being happy and we're just communicating whatever vibe we're in, whatever mood we're in, we're just communicating it through the ukulele. So we're just hitting it with our thumb, hitting it with our nail. Look, I even play the ukulele with my, my, my forehead sometimes. It really doesn't matter. Right, Sloan? Yeah, but when you play the ukulele, you want to be in a good mood. Sloan's got a very good point. You know, when you play the ukulele, you really want to be in a good mood, okay? Because we're putting out good vibes here. So if you're angry or you're, you know, frustrated, you know, the only reason why you should be picking up ukulele is if you want to, what? If you want to not be like that. And the ukulele helps you to, 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 to get away from that, okay? Because the ukulele is supposed to communicate good vibes, positive vibes, healing vibes, all right? So you know how to tune your ukulele, and you also know what part of your finger to use at first, right? The fleshy part of your thumb, the nail part of your thumb. Sometimes you can put your fingers together like this when you might say like, you know, good job. You might put your fingers together and just hit it. There are no rules. Just make sound, all right? And make sure it sounds good, all right? So now that we've gone over the tuning and now that we've gone over what part of your finger to use, let's get into chords a little bit. Now, I don't know how many of you guys, how many, how many of you know any ukulele chords? We're going to show you some really easy ones here. Cause like I said, all I care about is that by the end of this, you know how to play some songs, okay? So um, if you, Sam is going to, uh, my assistant here for this, my technical assistant from the UKC, um, she's going to be uh, sending out PDFs. I don't know, some, somehow you guys can access the chord charts. And if it's too complicated, just go online and just get a very basic chord chart, um, the basic ukulele chords, um, and just bring that up big on your screen. It's so accessible to get this. Um, and basically what I wanna do here, what I wanna start with, the first chord that we teach when we teach the ukulele here, the easiest, in my opinion, the easiest chord are the chords that only involve one finger to play them, right? So it was the first chord that I taught you to play. C. The C chord, okay? You feel so good when you play this chord. Um, now, the ukulele, as you can see, is made up of strings, right? And sections on the ukulele div that, that are divided by these little metal pieces. That are called frets. Yes. And every, if somebody says first fret, the first fret is the first thing and the middle part here um, shows you what the first fret is and then second fret and there's all these frets. Yeah, so that would be the first fret in between the top and that first metal piece. 
This is the second fret. This is the third fret. This is the fourth fret. This is the fifth fret. And it just keeps going. Most of the chords we're going to play today, almost all of them are, are involved, uh, involve the first, second, and third fret. So we're not going too far down the ukulele. So when I say, um, you know, the green string on the first fret, you know, you're using this string. When I say the red string on the second fret, you're going with this string. Okay. Last thing I want you guys to know is when I say to put your finger on a string, put the the, the top, the, the fingertip of your finger on. You can only, when I say to touch a specific string, you can't be hitting any other strings when you touch that string or it's not gonna sound good. So let's give you a, for example, when I say, please put your finger on the fourth string of the third fret. It's gonna be the string that's farthest away from you a blue string, if you have a colored ukulele, the lightest string, the thinnest string, put your finger on the fourth string of the third fret and strum the ukulele. That is a C chord. Okay, it's the lightest string, the fourth string, the string that's furthest from you on the third fret is the C chord. Now what I want you to do is move your finger down on the same string to the first fret. That's a C7 chord. Move it back to the C. It's the same string, C7. One is on the third fret, one is on the first fret. You just learn yourself two chords on the ukulele. And you can just sit there and go back and forth between those two chords and brag to all your friends that you know how to play two chords on the ukulele. C and C7, congratulations, okay? So, now, um, are you guys still with me? Okay. Any questions yet? All right, well, if you guys have any questions, I hope that you ask them because we, we got people on the job we are now. We got, we got people tending to the situation. So if anybody's curious, we have, a, uh, we have a little operation going on right now designed to make sure nobody gets confused along the way. Um, so we just taught you a C and a C7 chord, okay? Mm -hmm. What I want to do right now is I want to move and I want to teach you the F chord, okay? The F chord is the third string. When I say the third string, I mean the third string farthest from you, okay? The yellow string on the first fret, okay? And the green string or the first string on the second fret, okay? So, song. Okay, so we got the F, the F chord right now. Look at your chord charts. Try to, try to do what that, what, put your fingers where the dots are on the chord charts. The F chord is another very easy chord. It involves the third string on the first fret, which is a yellow string, and it involves the first string on the second fret, the green string. This is an F chord. Show them, Sloan. Get close to the camera and show them. And this one, too. should sound like that. This is an F chord. Now, whether you're picking this up quickly or not, I want you to write that down. C chord, C7 chord, okay? Write down the F chord, all right? Because I'm only gonna give you a few here. I'm not gonna overwhelm you. We are not gonna overwhelm with, with so many chords, but when this class is over, we're gonna hope that you go back and you look at these specific chords and you focus on these because these are the chords necessary to play the songs that we're gonna teach you. And these are the chords that I've deemed um, the combination of being the easiest and also the most valuable to uh, get yourself off the ground with some songs that I know you're gonna like. We're gonna get into those songs soon. Um, so, so far we learned the C chord, Right, the C chord is on that real, the, the, the thin string, the blue string down at the bottom. We learned the C7 chord, which is the same string. 
end, we learn the F chord. And now we're going to turn the F chord into a D minor chord, okay? Very easily. D we're minor gonna, yes. is just, you have an F and then you put your finger that you put, you usually put a ring on. You put that one on the same, on the second fret, but on the red string. So right behind your um, middle finger, it's right behind it. Or if the finger is all curled up is too hard for you, you could just put your finger on the yellow string on the first fret. And then you could put your whole middle finger on the red and green at the same time if it's easier. So the F chord and the D minor chord, the F chord and the D minor chord are very similar. So you'll see how easy it is. Once you have one chord, sometimes all you have to do is add another finger to get another chord. So that such is the case when you go from an F chord to a D minor chord. So it's hard for me to show you like on the camera, like because you can't really see where my fingers are placed. So you really do need the chord chart and you need to look at how um, an F becomes a D minor. It's like a little bit of a transformer. Like you don't really, they're two different chords, but the only thing making them different is actually one finger that you're putting down. F to D minor. And then I wanna also teach you guys the, uh, the G7 chord. Okay, the G7 chord is going to be when you've put your, uh, your, when I say first finger, I mean this pointer finger, you're going to put that on the yellow string, or the third string, the third string farthest from you, that's where your pointer finger is going to go. If you don't have colored strings, you could just remember third string. Yeah, and then you're going to put your fourth finger, your ring finger on the blue string or the fourth string that's farthest from you, and your middle finger you're gonna put on the red string, which is the second string farthest from you. And that's gonna give you this cool G7 chord, which is such a good chord to know. Show it out a little bit. Now listen, you're seeing that Sloan and I, do, uh, kind of when we get our, our, our hands on these chords, we're just kind of strumming down. I don't want to get too complicated with you guys and get into like, strumming things a certain way. The more you play, the better you're going to get at strumming the ukulele, okay? You, it, it, this is really one of those instruments, just like all instruments, that the more you play, the better you get. Not everyone has colored strings, yes. Not everyone has colored strings, so sometimes when I talk about the colored strings, um, some of you, it's going to be easier for, but if you don't have colored strings, what I need you to know, what I'm classifying as the fourth string, for this class is the string that's farthest away from you. So first string will be the one closest to you, the top string. The second, the string is the second string, obviously. And the fourth string is the one farthest away from you. Okay. So if you don't have colored strings, I'm not even going to talk in colors actually right now. I'll just call these strings the first, second, third, and fourth. The first being the one that's closest to you. Like I said about practice, you know, when you, I'm going to give you these chords, I'm, I'm trying to give you information in a, in a just small dose so that you can go and practice and have a couple things to get you going. And then you'll use that to go and, and practice what we're teaching you. And then we'll do this again. And then you'll be that much further. I'm trying to make it easier to kind of get the, the foundation, let's just call it. Um, so right now we've taught you five chords and really these are the five chords that we're going to work with today. We got the C chord. Strum it out guys. Come on. We got the C7 chord. We got the F chord. We got the D minor chord. And we got the G7 chord. Those are five chords. Okay. Five chords right now that we're going to make some magic with right now, okay? Now, as far as strumming goes, don't worry about that right now. Just make sure the ukulele sounds good. Make sure strumming is going to come when you develop a little vibe and you just kind of bring a little more confidence and a little more style into it, and which is going to happen. And the chords, and sometimes you're going from C and then you have to change to D minor. If you go, if it's a little slow for you to change, it's okay if it, it was like that for me at first and still is a little bit so you could just um once you if you practice a lot and once you get better then you might be able to change chords faster and easier 
Right. Like Sloan right now has got a bunch of songs that she's been working with and she knows the chords and she's almost memorized them and she knows how to play them. But the biggest challenge for her is getting from one chord to the next and really practicing getting from the C to the D minor um, and doing it in, you know, in time with the song. Like that's going to be the thing that is going to come with more practice. So getting the chords down, that's really the easy thing right now. You guys can sit there for an hour and get all these chords down. I know you can, but it's really practicing them is going to help you you know, put these songs together because be, it's all about being able to go from one chord to the next chord. Um, and you're, that's going to come easy too. Sloan, like I said, she's been playing for just a couple of weeks and she's going to play you guys a song in a little bit that she's just been playing for a week. Um, and you're going to see, you know, how, uh, how quickly, you know, you can, you can learn to play the ukulele in, in even a week. Um, so let's learn some songs. Let's bring out some songs. What do you say? Okay. okay. First of all, I just want to remind everybody, um, well, I want to tell everyone, thank you for being here, for tuning in. Um, you know, Ukulele Kids Club uh, is a nonprofit organization that I am lucky enough to be on the board of. Um, we raise money for music therapy and we gift ukuleles to kids in children's cancer hospitals, um, children's hospitals in general. And we're all over the world. We've, we've given over 8,000 ukuleles to kids um, and doing so, have given the gift of music um, to children who so badly need it. And today, I'm sure we can all agree that um, a lot of kids, a lot of people need music in their lives. This is a wonderful, wonderful and productive uh, distraction um, from all the other things that people could spend their time doing. And we're having uh, a great time just learning ukulele and bringing this into our lives every day. If you guys are intrigued and interested to know more about the UKC, Please uh, check out the links that we're going to include here below the UK www.theukc.org if you want to watch some videos and really see what we're all about. We appreciate it. Any donations that you guys uh, you guys make to the organization, um, we're going to go to buying ukuleles for these kids. So I want you to know that um, that's what we stand for. That's what we do, and we appreciate you guys. So thank you. Um, we have a lot more happening here at the clubhouse and the UKC all throughout. The the month we're going to be doing this you know all april all may so many great performers so many different types of classes so please keep tuning in thank you so let's get a, let's get going here on um on our first song sloan has chosen the song from the movie moana uh i love you well not exactly from moana but i play it once for a concert at my school right come sit here nice. So bring up the uh, the chord charts. Sam is going to email the chord charts, uh, which she hasn't done so already, for you guys to have. It's three chords. Um, three and, chords that we taught you. Right, three chords that we taught you. The C, the G7. Actually, it's four chords. The C, the G7, the F. No, that's it. It's the, it's the C, G7, and F. Three very easy chords. So boot it up. We'll give you guys... About 10 seconds. Listen, and there's no rush here. You know, if you come in halfway through, you know, or if you got to you take yourself out for a minute, just join us in again. Just try to follow along here. All right. We're all having a good time here. There's no reason to rush. Starting on the C. Then we go to the G7. To the F. C. G7. That's the way it's gonna go. Let's see. I just want to check out one thing here. Are we running out of time? Excuse me, guys. I'm just doing a, a, a little technical shift here. I'm getting some people telling me that. We're looking all over the place. That's right. Let's try this. Let's try this. There's just so many cameras. How's that, Corey? Okay. 
long. So it starts with the C, then it goes to a G7. F, then a C to G7. Are you gonna sing for me? Okay. A long, long time ago, there was a volcano living all alone in the middle of the sea. He sat high above his bay, watching all the couples play. Here, want to just sing for me? Okay. You want to make it easier if you just sing. Okay. Want to do that? Sat high above his bay, watching all the couples play, wishing that he had someone to and from his lava came this song of hope he sang out loud every day for years and years chorus if i had a dream i hope will come true that you're here with me and i'm here with you I wish that the earth, sea, the sky up above will send me someone to love. Yes. Awesome. It's a great first song to learn. The Lava song. It's C, G7, and F. Um, definitely boot that up and practice that because it's a good one to whip out. Uh, let's do a little bit of uh, a little song that we all know. Great little lullaby song. You are my sunshine. Okay. Okay. Sloan's going to play some uke on this one. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll always know, dear, how much I love you. And I'll love you for every day. Second verse, I'll always love you and make you happy. I know you'll always do the same. You are my love. C guys, bring it to a C. Always love you and be there. C7 for you. I will to the F protect you from harm's way. C C7. Cause I adore you. That's on an F. You're my dream come true. To G7 and C, and I'll love you more every day. All right, you are my sunshine. It's a great one to whip out. Same chords as the lava song. All right, the C, the C7, the F. Like these are songs I know. Just give them some couple hours of practice, and you guys are rocking with these songs. All right, let's get into um, let's get into. I'm gonna, we're going to teach you. Actually, you know what? We're going to give you a little more of a dance song right now. Sloan's going to help us out here, and then we're going to uh, Sloan's, Sloan's going to sing you a song that little pandemic parody she put together and then we're gonna rock we're gonna spend the rest of the time just dancing all right um but sloan has been really excited to teach you guys how to play a little song you may or may not have heard called uptown funk. uptown funk baby okay this is a two chord song it can't get any easier it, the two chords are d minor and g7 all right you might Look. have heard of the singer bruno mars but maybe not the song i heard him is he popular a little more popular than me no see uh d minor and g7 uh look on your chord chart chart these are can get closer to the computer when you play yes how's that you gotta i feel like i literally feel like i'm in one of those those, those vans where hackers are computer people operate from hacking hacking into the mainframe uh how's that core 
All right, so Sloan, let's do this D minor, G7, check your chord charts. This, the chords are very similar. This, this song cannot get any easier. You sing it. It's in that ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one with them good girls, them good girls, straight masterpiece. Styling, wilding, living it up in the city. I got Chuck on with them St. Laurent's. I'm gonna kiss myself, it's so pretty. I'm too hot, hot damn. Call the police and the fireman are too hot, hot damn. Make a dragon want to retire, man, are too hot, hot damn. Sing it. In my bad, bad, that money, break it down now. Girls, sing your hallelujah. Girls, sing your hallelujah. Girls, sing your hallelujah. Cause Uptown Funk gon' give it to you. Cause Uptown Funk gon' give it to you. It's Saturday night and we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Come on. D minor, G7. D minor, G7. All right, stop. Wait a minute. Fill my cup, put some liquor in it. Take a sip, sign the check. Julio! Get a stretch. We go to Harlem, Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi. We go show up, we go show out. Cooler than a fresh jar of Too hot, hot damn. Call the police and the fireman. Are too hot, hot damn. Make a drag of water in time. Man, are too hot, hot damn. Say my name, you know who I am. Are too hot. Hot damn, hit my bad about that money, break it down now. Girls, sing your hallelujah. Girls, sing your hallelujah. Cause our town phone gon' give it to you. Cause our town phone gon' give it to you. It's Saturday night and we in the spot. Don't believe me, just watch. Yes, all right. Give it up for Sloan, you guys. This is her first time really playing in front of such a large audience here, especially online. That is the first time you've ever played the ukulele and sang and entertained, I think, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Like father, like daughter, maybe. All right, all right, we got, um, I wanna do, do the world premiere of this next song and then we're gonna, we're gonna spend the rest of our time uh, dancing, okay? This is a couple of days ago, uh, actually a couple, yeah, about a week and a half ago when we were trying to figure out what the heck was happening in the world. Uh, we were playing a ukulele as we were trying to figure it out and uh, having all sorts of silly, fun, productive thoughts. And uh, uh, Sloan had this great idea to take the song, Don't Worry, Be Happy, and do her own version of the song. So I want to uh, hand the microphone over to Sloan as she sings to you, uh, Don't Worry, Be Healthy, the pandemic parody mix. Uh, we... Uh, Sam should uh, has the chords. She can send them to you guys uh, through Facebook. Uh, I don't know how we're getting those to people, but uh, if you don't have uh, the chords in front of you, you can definitely you'll know where to join in on the on the part that goes da la 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 da 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 da. da. The chords are C, D minor, and F. I taught you those chords before. C, D minor, F. Just get those chords ready. Okay, I'm gonna let Sloan sing this entire song. I'm not gonna get in the way. It's all her. Okay. There's a little song about Don't worry. 
la 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 don't worry be happy you can say what you want to say as you do it six feet away don't worry you should have played a song that Miley Cyrus should I sing a Sing it with us, you guys. Come on. La 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 Don't worry, be healthy. Come on, la 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 Don't worry, be healthy now. La 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 don't worry, be healthy. Yes, let's hear it for Sloan Delaval, the pandemic parody remix. Don't worry, be healthy. Congratulations. Guys, she just started playing ukulele just a couple of weeks ago. So you see her, she's singing and playing. Like, if any of you are concerned, thank you, thank you, thank you. If any of you are concerned with, uh, you know, this being really hard, I mean, Sloan is proof that with the right attitude and just a little bit of skill, you guys can pick up the ukulele really, really quickly and be making your own songs, singing and strumming along. Uh, look at her brother coming in here to give her a hug. This is Kai over here. Come, Kai, come say hi. Come say hi to the world. <laughs> say hi. Yeah, say hi. Hi. Kai, Kai plays the guitar. Kai rocks out on the guitar. So guys, um, that's going to conclude our, actually, our, our, our lesson part of this. Um, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments, and Sam will get back to you. I want to make sure you guys have the chord charts. I want to make sure you guys are good on the, um, the introductory chords that we just taught you. Um, write this down, um, the C, the C7, the F, the D minor, and the G7. Those are five chords that we started with and the five chords that we use to play every single one of the songs that we just played for you. Um, I'm not lying or I'm not jaded because I've been playing for a while and think and when I tell you that those are easy chords, they are actually easy chords to play. Um, if you have any questions or need any additional help, feel free to just reach out. Happy to uh, be there for you. Um, but right now, uh, and also, so we can give you those chord charts too, uh, the ones that if you don't have those or you have not been able to access them, just message me and I will send them to you. Um, I will email them to you. But let's, what do you say we get a little dance party going on right now? I think it's time because people, it's a Saturday and they want to dance a little bit so they have enough energy to get going with, for the rest of their day. You gonna help me sing? The clubhouse isn't the best place to find a lover, but the clubhouse is where I go. Me and my friends strumming ukes. We play them fast and then we talk slow, right? Come on, have a start up a conversation, but trust me, but trust me, I'll give it a chance. It's in my hands, stop the venom and then the jukebox, and then we start to dance. And I'm singing that girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Coming now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, said boy. Let's not talk too much. Grab on my feet and take that body on me. Come and now follow my lead. Come, come and now follow my lead. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you. Push and pull like a magnet too. Oh, when my heart is falling too. I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my room. And now my bed sheets smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with your body, yo, 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 yo.
yo. I'm in love with your body, ayo, 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 ayo. I'm in love with your body, ayo, 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 ayo. I'm in love with your body, every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of when we can, we'll let the story begin. We're going out on our first date. You and me are thrifty, you got all you can eat. Fill up your bag and I fill up a plate. We talk for hours. Was and hours about the sweet and the sour and how your family is doing okay. And now we get in the taxi, kissing the backseat till the driver made the radio play. And now we're singing that like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Coming now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me, said boy. Let's not talk too much. Grab on my waist and put that body on me. Coming now, follow my lead. Come, coming now, follow my lead. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you, push and pull like a magnet too. When my heart is falling too, I'm in love with your body. Last night you were in my room, and now my bed sheets smell like you. Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with your ukulele. Well, thank you very much. I have a kiwi here. We have a pineapple over here. We have a. a and yeah, we have a brown one, the ukulele classic right here with the color strings. And we also have a watermelon ukulele. This baby is waterproof. So I appreciate, yeah, I waterproof appreciate that. It. Yeah. It's, water it's not wood. Yeah. Plastic. Yeah. Which is and very convenient to have on the beach. A wooden ukulele and you bring it to the beach anytime. Don't put it in the water because it won't. Yeah, you don't want to bring your ukulele in the water if you can help it. But if you have a waterproof one, you can. Exactly. This is an oldie, but a goodie. If life could be a dream, if I could take you up to paradise up above, if you could tell me I'm the only one that you love, life could be a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Shabu, my mama, my meet again. Oh, if life could be a dream, if only all my precious plans would come true. If you would let me spend my whole life loving you, life could be a dream, sweetheart. Hello, hello again. Hello, I'm up and we'll meet again. Oh, every time I look at you, something is on my mind. Ba, 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 da, da. If you do what I want you to, baby, we'll be so fine. Oh, and life could be a dream. If I could take you up to paradise up above my If you could tell me I'm the only one that you love Life could be a dream, sweetheart Hello, hello again Shaboom, I'm up and we'll meet again Oh, if life could be a dream If only all my precious plans would come true If you would let me spend my whole life loving you Life could be a dream, sweetheart Hello, hello again Shaboom, I'm up and we'll meet again oh, Lollipop, lollipop I don't get one of those. Can you do it? I gotta teach you that. I gotta teach you that. Okay, a little shaboom here, a little cordette taking you back in time here. Um, any requests? Any requests out there? All right. Koala Kai, yes, he did make an appearance. He did make an appearance. I think we need a love song. What do you think? In hell, falling in love with you. All right, little Elvis Presley there, 21 Pilots. Just keeping it interesting for you guys. We having a good time. Do we have any questions out there? Who's on here right now? I see Rob. Jax is back. Igor. Ricky's on here. That boy Drew. We got some good people on here right now. If you guys have any questions about the organization, please ask. If you have any questions about uh, what we just taught, please ask. We're going to be wrapping up in just a couple minutes. Um, but if you have any requests, please request them. Let's see here. I'm just checking. I have a request. 
What's your request? Ladies and gentlemen, this is my beautiful wife who's just trying to make a half of her appearance here. Can you just let them I swear oh, this is there's so a woman funny. who loves me and she looks that good. Um, catch and release. Catch and release. I have to teach you on this. Yeah. All right, we'll do this one. This song by Matt Simons. Simons called Catch and Release. There's a place I go to when no one knows me. It's not lonely. It's a necessary thing. It's a place I made up to find out what I made up. Nights I stayed up, counting stars and fighting sleep. Let it wash over me, ready to lose my sleep. Take me on back to the place where life reveals its mysteries. Steady on down the line, lose every sense of time. Take it on back and wipe out that small part of me. Day to day, I'm blind to see. Find out just how far there is to go. Everybody's got their reasons. Everybody's got their way. We're just catching and releasing what comes up throughout the day. And it gets inside your body, moves right through your blood. Share each other's secrets and remember how to love. Sing it. Da 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 There's a place I go to when no one knows me. If I breathe real slowly, let it out and let it in. It can be so terrifying to be slowly dying. And no so clarifying, we end where we begin. Let it wash over me, ready to lose my feet. Take me on back to the place where life reveals its mysteries. Steady on down the line, but to lose my mind. Take it all back and wake up that small part of me. Day to day, I'm blind to see, find out just how far the risk is to go. Everybody's got the reasons. Everybody's got the way. We're just catching and releasing what comes up throughout the day. And it gets inside your body, moves right through your blood. We share each other's secrets and remember how to love. La da 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 da. La da da da. Yeah, I love her. That song called Catch and Release by Matt Simons. We're going to end things off right now. I want to let you guys get back to your day. We want to thank you all for being with us here at the clubhouse and the ukulele kids club we're going to do this again there are many more uh, activities planned here at the clubhouse and if you tune into our, my instagram follow my instagram follow uh the ukulele kids club you'll be able to keep up on what we're doing week to week as we get through this whole ordeal together um please don't panic don't fear try not to stress try to just um, stay close to the ones you love and let's all elevate and get through this better than we were before. Let's not get focused and weighed down on all the stuff that um, is easy to focus and get weighed down on. Um, let's stay healthy, let's stay connected and uh, let's continue to uh, can feel the love. And let's end on this song. I wanna thank my wife for holding space for me today. I wanna thank my little girl Sloan here for being my assistant and helping me get through this, uh, my first ukulele tutorial. My son for making an appearance before. All you guys, all you guys out there who tuned in, we wanna thank you. And Corey Bergman at the Ukulele Kids Club and my team, Sam, Marlon, Stephanie, thank you guys so much. 
I got a ukulele now, I think that maybe I could sing a song for you. Start with a smile, stay there for a while, till I think of something new. Cause in the ukulele kids club where ukulele means love and music helps me feel okay. So let's sing a song and share a little love today. Sing it with us. Da 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 we said so let's sing a song big finale big rock and roll ukulele and share a little love and healing with the entire world today thank you guys so much enjoy the rest of your sun saturday happy easter and uh we'll see you next time well that Woo! song was actually written by another jay his friend. Yeah, yeah. I want to credit Jay Lichty, the amazing uh, Jay Lichty for writing the Ukulele Kids Club theme song. Jay, well, we miss you, brother. Thank you guys so much. Everyone have a great day. Jay Delaval, Sloan Delaval, signing off on all platforms. Did you send that to any of my friends, Mom? <laughs>